Hi, here I am. I'm in a little bit of a, a mood. Not hoping to bring anyone else down, but this morning I posted a new video. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you what I made. I've been really into making cozy things um, this fall, and I've been painting underglaze designs of like autumn scenes or some of my favorite things, which are books, mugs, mugs, and like hot cocoa. So this is something that was recently best fired. And yesterday I was working on a new design. Um, and this is what I made. And I mean, it's like a replica of like, I make a lot of leopard printed things and I'm gonna finish this off. So I thought this was really cute. And we got the tea bag on the side. So I made a short of this and a YouTube short. I only got three views and this has happened before. And I just wanted to hear like, has anyone, has this happened to anyone else who's like a creator posting content where it's like the algorithm doesn't even just, doesn't push it out. Um, I don't know if it doesn't push it out. I don't know if people don't like it, but I'm like, it makes me a little sad because it's like, I feel like I spend so much time on things and I know that I shouldn't look at validation through um, how people respond or if I'm getting likes, but it does make me feel that it's like, is this not resonating with people or is my work not, it, it makes me go back to a previous video of like, is my art good enough? And so that's the kind of mood I've, I'm in right now. It's just like, makes me feel, cause I've been on, I'm a new YouTuber and I've been on YouTube for the past, um, I mean, honestly, since like April, May, and I feel like I've been going hardcore and I've been following a lot of videos, like social media videos on like what to do. It's like, this is how you get to this and blah, blah, blah. And it's a lot. And it honestly just feels like, it's like, okay, well it's just, and I hear like, yes, it's all about consistency. Um, but it also feels very discouraging. Um, and, and it feels like I also need to create things based off of like what's, um, what 500,000 subscriber followers are doing. And it's like, I don't want to necessarily copy them. And I want it like, I want to be able to just share my creativity and like things that I'm making. So even if maybe this only resonates with a few people, it just feels like YouTube is saying like, no one likes your stuff. Um, so therefore we're not going to push it out. So this is more just like a rant and I figured I can finish doing the, this little tumbler. Here's a finished one that I recently fired. It's best fired, but I still need to do the final glaze. I have paper in it, but like I was going to do black all on the inside and there's some like clay marks. So I need to clean that up, but essentially I'm going to do the same thing here on this one. And then I've also expanded a little bit in my YouTube page. I've posted like book rants and I've noticed that hasn't really taken off. And I understand and I see, oh, I saw one of my favorite YouTube booktubers, uh, Shaughnessy was posting, ooh, I already messed up. <laughs> she was posting black YouTubers on Instagram or on YouTube and she was sharing how like, you actually kind of have to search for like a black tuber. Um, it's just not really posted on there. And I totally see that. If you look for, or in the context of ceramics, yes, one, you get like the people who have been around for a really long time. Um, and it just feels like it's really hard to be a new, creator and, it, and the thing is it's like it's not like i'm a new creator in the context of me doing something new like i've been doing ceramics for almost 10 years on and off and i i do feel like i've really been working and perfecting on my technique um and i also understand that there's always things i can improve um but it does feel a bit discouraging that it almost feels like it, 
the level of views and has declined. And so at the moment, I don't know how I feel like, and I know people say, don't give up, don't give up. But I could see how creators in this space, and honestly, I feel like crying because I feel like creators in this space just want to give up. And um, because, yeah, it, it, you, we want to be in a space that we feel like we belong. And one of the things that I've been sharing is like finding an art community. And I think like even virtually, it's just like wanting to know that you resonate and that like, and it's weird because it's like, it's like you're, you're speaking and you're showing your work to this echo chamber. And, and so how can we actually like create community when this community, the definition of it is very much flawed. Um, so I'm going to pause, take a break, take some, Take, breathe a little bit and I'll come back to this. Okay, so I'm back. I'm definitely gonna still create things for things I love and I will still post if anything this has helped me get this clay job um, as a, I'm a clay instructor now um, and that's great to like connect with people in real life um, I also got like um, I'm excited about some fall and Christmas designs I want to create on ceramics. So I've been like sketching out my designs first in a book or scrapbook. And I love these new pens that I got. Look at that design. It's it almost, I think it's like acrylic. It's by Deco Brush. Uh, so I got a whole bunch of those and I'm excited to sketch just in a journal um, and that's been really inspiring in, to figure out what I'm designing out on the plates. And I also got some really cool new glazes and I think I'm going to explore different blues for the holiday. Um, I don't know why blue, blues and greens. I uh, like forest greens. This is called, this is by Georgie's Dusty Blue Matte. If you can see the picture. Doesn't that look fun? Um, and then I also got another Georgie's Buckwheat, just a, like a white with like a rusty color on the edges. Um, so I'm going to glaze this weekend. Maybe that'll be on a different video. I just honestly like... I think my expectations, I, I'm needing to shift my expectations on YouTube. Um, and so I'm not going to post as long videos anymore. I mean, I'm just going to do what I want to do. Because um, I feel like I don't know what's working. But like if y'all have feedback or... I mean, I would love to hear like comments. I don't really get comments on my videos, but I also recognize I'm still very much new to YouTube. And um, so I, I see like other pages get a lot of comments. I, I don't know what I can do to get more comments. Like maybe if it's more of like just a live session that would work and resonate. But I am curious, like, y'all's thoughts. So if you are there, and if I'm not speaking to an echo chamber, um, I would love to know, like, maybe even what, like, you want, you like that I do and you want to see more of. Um, but also just recognizing that, like, the ceramics process is not, like, the things that I show, like, that paint, just the painting itself took a couple hours. And to throw a piece on the wheel... I mean, I might show it in a time lapse, so it might look like only 20 seconds, but the whole ceramics process takes time. And, and all together, there's like two firings. And so like, so when I'm selling my work to, let's say a retail store, I ask for 
like three to five weeks just knowing that like the time for firing a kiln, the time for trimming, all of that does add up. And so the work that I do is not like just for YouTube, nor is it like just like a, a, a really quick, easy activity, but it's, it's something that brings me joy. And I want to continue to share that with others. And I'm just hoping that like there is a community and there are there are people out there who appreciate this. And yes, again, I'm not quite, I mean, yes, I'm, I'm, it's hard for me to say that, like, to completely remove validation out, but, um, I do think, like, in working in branding and product design, um, if you don't get responses, if you don't get engagement, that does show, like, like what I need to do and what I need to shift on. I just don't quite know because I like one, I'm not getting comments, one, I'm not getting views. So I don't even know what to do. And yeah, so this is what I've done. It's already leaked there, but I can clean it up. That's fine. Um, I'm going to just end this here and start fresh tomorrow. Bye.